Welcome in everyone to day three of the 2023 summer NABC robot individual. <clears throat> so day two, we had a bit of a stumble. This is where we ended up, 53%. Um, and when I was looking back at the overall results, I actually don't think we played all that badly. We did get very unlucky on a number of hands. I think I brought a couple of those to attention yesterday, but I do have one example to show um, now that we get to see some of the other results on the boards. But looking at the leaderboard, Rabbit Bean, um, a fellow streamer, has done very well on day two. Leo Lasota, I think, has put together a couple of strong days, um, but this was the overall leaderboard from the second day of the event. And <clears throat> Here's where we stand overall, so we have a 58 and change average. With first place, the same player who was leading after day one, at about a 70% or a little bit higher, we would need something like a 90 to win the event overall, and that's just not going to happen, so I think we're kind of disqualified. This is a little bit of the downside of some of these uh, long day events where every day counts equally. A lot of well, basically every other national championship event in the NABCs has like a cut after each day. You know, they'll take the top half of the field to the next day and then the top half to the day after that. And there will be a small amount of carryover. You know, maybe the leaders on day two will get something like two full boards um, worth of match points carryover going into the final day. Maybe a little bit more, but um, generally it's not much, so everyone going into day three who is qualified has a chance to win. Um, <clears throat> but that's not the way these events work, so it's a little sad that, you know, I would say like 90% of the field has no chance to win the event from here. Um, but we're still going to play and do our best on the third day, see if we can put together another solid performance, move up the leaderboards a bit. So we're currently sitting in 270th place. And this was our set from yesterday. If you're curious about any of the percentages on some of the hands, um, I will shortly scroll through some of these so you can take a look. Um, <clears throat> it, it is kind of worth noting that on the second to last board, that one we decided to go up for a penalty against one heart, um, plus 200, ended up being a good result. The field, I guess about half of the field, ended up missing game. So we gained against those pairs, um, maybe a little bit more than half the field, three quarters of the field missed game. I mean, I don't think anyone else played one heart doubled on the hand. But yeah, overall, just a few too many boards that were, you know, these like 30%, 20%, 20%. Um, obviously the fifth board, the one where we didn't overcall two clubs. I guess I can quickly pull that one up. The field overcalled two clubs, and what this actually did to the opponent's auction is that they ended up playing in three hearts. So um, a lot of the pairs east-west ended up scoring 170, whereas we ended up minus 420. Now, I, I think I brought up the fact that Declare played this hand a little funny yesterday, and so that's a a bit unfortunate for us, but that was just one example of many where we got a bit shortchanged on our results and ended up getting close to a zero on the board. Um, <clears throat> but this is one of the hands that I kind of wanted to bring up and illustrate, and I, I did notice that a YouTube comment suggested that I, I was complaining that East, when they got in with the Club King, didn't try and cash the Diamond Queen. Um, so when Diamond to the Jack, I played the Jack from Dummy at Trick 1, we won the Ace, played Ace of Clubs and another club. And someone suggested, oh, well, of course, like, they can lead a low heart to the King because they know that North doesn't have the King of Hearts for the three club bid. Um, not true, right? Like, this three club bid is 9 to 11 high card points. North could have Ace of Diamonds, Ace of Clubs, King of Hearts. That would be 11 highs. Um, so first off, there's that, right? Like, there's no guarantee that North has the Ace, Jack, and Clubs. And in, in fact, I think it's 
it might even kind of be likely that your partner started with queen third of clubs given the um, the way the club suit was played, declare with ace empty sixth, of course, would have no reason to like cross to dummy and try and take a club finesse. Whereas if partner, if declare actually had ace jack of clubs, they might have crossed to the spade and like run the ten of clubs or something. Um, <clears throat> but more importantly, this queen of diamonds is just high. So even if you were trying to cash heart tricks, it makes a lot of sense to cash the diamond queen immediately here um, before you know you get into a position where your partner has to guess like oh can we cash another heart do i need to play back diamonds obviously the robots don't think about these things but regardless you know i was under the impression this would be a fairly flat board maybe some pairs would get to three no trump and make it just because the clubs happen to split if they got lucky and didn't receive a diamond lead um, but when I took a look at the scorecard, most of the field actually ended up getting to three clubs, and most of the field ended up taking 11 tricks. We only took 10, as you can see. So the difference between an above average board and below average board was just that one over trick for where the defense has to decide can we cash hearts or cash the club queen. So I pulled up, this is just an example. Same diamond lead, right? Same auction. This player elected to play the six of diamonds at trick one. West put in the king anyway, um, not the ten. Forces had the ace. This player likes to cross to dummy and spades and led the ten of clubs to the ace and then played back a club. So to some extent, this player has done a little bit worse. Now, I, I don't like their line of play of leading the Ten of Clubs to the Ace. If you were planning to lead the Ten of Clubs, I think you definitely play low from hand. Um, <clears throat> but both Easts are effectively in the same position. They've found out about the Ace of Diamonds and Ace of Clubs from Declare. And so at our table, <clears throat> East elected to lead a low heart to their partner's king here. At this table, East elects to lead the queen of diamonds. And so now Clara was able to just play spades, pitch a heart loser, and end up losing just one heart trick, making 11 tricks. So <clears throat> a little bit sad. And I mean, this kind of random, it's not as if this kind of randomness um, can't happen in Human Bridge. It's just a little bit sad when it happens in a robot game where effectively the robots are in the same exact position at both tables, and they do one thing at one table and one thing at the other, something that a lot of the robot games are trying to present, and I think I like applaud them for it, that they try and make sure that the robots effectively bid and defend the same way at every table, so there's no unfair advantage from like one of the robots guessing to do something different. Um, but the fact that the player at the other table elected to do something a little bit different in the way they approach the hand, crossing to the spade, and then leading the ten of clubs to the ace, caused enough of a difference in the line of play that East thought they were in a different position, tried to cash the diamond queen. Um, so... Overall, a little bit sad that that's what decided the result on that board, but that was just one of actually several examples, and so that ended up causing us to get, you know, a fairly mediocre set of 53%, which does take us out of competition for first place. With that said, um, we're going to jump into day three, and I think because we're kind of out of competition for first, I'm not going to spend a lot of time after the hand analyzing, um, doing any sort of like post analysis. So that should do a couple things, hopefully speed up the video a little bit, as well as um, just make sure that we continue on with the action without dwelling too much on one of the hands. Um, so I'll try and avoid doing that. I, sometimes I get very involved in a hand and I, I really want to take a look afterwards. Um, but now, you know, with us being out of contention for first, it, it kind of doesn't matter if we keep track of how we're doing throughout the set. We don't need to get to the last board and decide, hey, we're kind of safe. We can just, like, cruise to an average board and 
um, secure the title or we're going to need a couple of good results down the stretch. Let's try a couple of swingy things towards the end of the event. So without further ado, let's jump on in to the first board of the set and pass past us. We have a good hand. We have a 15 count. Partner is a passed hand, but our hand is definitely strong enough that we can still be thinking about game. Um, <clears throat> I think I'm going to start with a spade. It's unlikely that, I mean, I think even if West could have had something like a 20 count, which they can't in this best hand format, I would probably still open a spade here in third seat. It's going to be hard for them to blow us out. We'll obviously be able to rebid spades later, almost no matter what West ends up doing. Uh, so happy to just open at one level. Partner bids a no trump. I'm going to jump to three spades. Now, if my hand was a little bit different, uh, there are definitely other bids that I might consider. Like, give me ace-king, seventh of spades, and say, remove the queen of clubs from my hand. And I would probably be pretty happy to read a two-no, thinking that while four spades might be a good contract, if we end up playing in three no trump and the opponents actually either can't run one of the minor suits or um, they get off to the wrong lead, we might just earn ourselves a really nice result on the board. So <clears throat> if I had spades that were like, look more like they might be able to run, then I would consider a two no trump rebid with this type of shape, despite having a very long spade suit. Um, but here, because my spade suit's a little weak, I'm probably going to have to lose this a trick in it, or most likely I'll have to lose a trick in it. Um, we definitely want a trump suit to protect ourselves. The opponents will then have two opportunities to get off to the right lead in defense against a three no trump contract. Okay, partner passes it out. <clears throat> and well, we're not in a bad spot. I mean, I think I might prefer to be in a game with if I knew that this was the hand partner was putting down. I mean, partner has an eight count. We did jump in the auction, but I do understand with the small singleton spade and no aces that partner might be a little wary about um, bidding to game. And of course, if we did get, say, a diamond lead, we would be probably worse than 50% to make our game. Um, because if the ace of diamonds was offside, the opponents could, of course, cash the first three tricks, and then we would have to play the spade suit for no losers. <clears throat> but on a club lead, I think we're pretty happy where we've landed. The ace of clubs um, with east makes it seem likely that the Ace of Diamonds is with West. Okay. <laughs> we get a spade switch. Well. I am... I'm tempted to go up with the ace and unblock the clubs, use the king of hearts as an entry to pitch a diamond loser on the third round of clubs. I mean, I'm tempted to do this just because the spade switch feels so weird. I think if east didn't have the diamond ace, east probably would switch to diamonds right now. Um, <clears throat> the the reason being, or or I mean, East might play with club back, right? God, the, this all feels weird, right? Like if East had the Ace of Diamonds, why wouldn't East just play a club back? Spade switch is so weird in this spot. Um. <clears throat> I 
I mean, we can be pretty confident that hearts are not 4-1. So we should be safe in playing a heart to the king, pitching a diamond on the club, and then getting back to our hand somehow to try and pull trumps. If East had a singleton heart, they would switch to a heart. If West had a singleton heart, they would have let it trick one as opposed to a club. You know, it also seems pretty likely that clubs are not a uh, 6-2. West let a low club spot. It could be from 3-2 Doubleton, but I mean, then East probably would have tried to give their partner a club rough. So, and if that is from a long club suit, West leading fourth best could only have the deuce below the three. So East can't be roughing the jacket clubs either. I'm... <clears throat> The spade switch is just so weird, but if I wanted to guess the spades, I would probably put in the 10. I kind of have the impression both spades might be offside, actually, given the way the defense has gone. This, this low spade switch is just so crazy to me. I'm going to do what I planned. So we pitched a diamond loser. <clears throat> now, to get back to your hand, I, I mean, we have... I guess the first question is, when we get back to your hand, what am I going to do in the spade suit? I believe what I'm going to do is I'm going to lead the queen of spades. Um, So I'm effectively playing East for, like, Jack Doubleton of spades. I mean, it's just so, like, why is he switching to a low spade? I, I have the suspicion that West probably has maybe all three of the missing spades. The King, Jack, and Eight. But, um... No certainty on that. Anyway, I I'm going to try and cut communication. Diamond to the jack. Okay, the, the ace of diamonds was on side, so that's not great news for us. That means it might have been more profitable to try and guess the spade suit earlier. So it looks like East has turned up with the jack of the Queen Jack of Diamonds, the Ace of Clubs. We don't know about the Queen of Hearts, but It's just kind of a guess. I suppose... Yeah, honestly, I'm not sure. My first instinct was to try the Queen of Spades, so let's do it. That did not work. Hopefully, that's because um, West happened to have King Jack third. They did. On to the next hand. Super weird to not to switch to spades there from East. Board two. 16 count. We'll open a no trump. I'll pass. We get a diamond lead. <laughs> Just 
very typical robot opening leads. Um, <clears throat> so we'll play low. Diamond suit, I mean, I won't say could be blocked. Um, this could be a singleton. It can't possibly be from four to the 10. So we might need that queen of spades to be an entry to the dummy. A heart switch is interesting. And the six of hearts is also interesting. You know, that... Because we could elect to just play low on this trick. Let West win. And our hearts will be protected from further heart leads. Communication is going to be a little difficult on this hand. And so if I do duck, like imagine West wins and just returns a heart, like the King of Hearts is on side. We win. But if we want to protect against a potential 4-1 diamond split, we would have to unblock the diamonds now. And then we have no entries back to the spades in our hand unless the Ace of Clubs is on side. So if the Queen of Hearts holds, we're, we're actually in great shape to make a large number of tricks. If the Queen of Hearts doesn't hold, then we're in pretty poor shape. I think I'm going to assume the King of Hearts is offside. I mean, again, this is just you know, some of these inferences in Robot Bridge are just nonsensical. But we know West has a long heart suit. East didn't open, um, like a preempt in hearts, and West led from diamond shortness. So West, of course, has some number of hearts here. Why would they prefer to lead diamonds to hearts? Well, it's probably because they have some heart honors. And they don't have the ace, they don't have the queen, so their heart honor is probably the king. So I guess I'm going to duck. We do get a club return, the nine of clubs. Okay. Another heart comes through, sure. <laughs> Why would East not just shift to the Eight of Hearts the first time? <laughs> then I kind of would have been forced to play the Queen on the first round of the suit. East is turned up with the King of Diamonds, the Ace of Clubs. I mean, if they have the Ace of Spades, there are some 11 counts where the robot wouldn't open, but I think it's... I think it's likely that East would open with that hand. So it feels safe to put in the Heart Queen. I mean, it sounds as if West has the Spade Ace. Um, so may as well try this finesse. Queen of Clubs comes back. It's good news. The eight six of clubs might actually be a stopper in the suit. Or West has been very careful in leading the Nine of Clubs and then the Queen from like Queen Nine Third and East actually has the Jack Seven remaining. That would be very clever of them. I mean, definitely possible. Uh, so. I guess I am going to go after the spade suit. I mean, like, it would be a little bit sad if West could 
win the Ace of Spades and then cash two clubs. But I think... I mean, I think that's the end of the defensive tricks if that happens. East won the Ace of Spades, and then returned to Spade. Wow. So West does have the Queen Jack of Clubs. I mean, East has turned up with 11 high card points now. Nope. And the rest of my hand is good. Wild that West switched to the Nine of Clubs from Queen Jack 9 fourth. And of course, East should be opening their hand with 11 in first seat. Okay, on the board three. We'll open a heart. Partner bits a spade. So one of the things, I mean, I'm drawn to the two club bid just because it gives partner an easy and natural and very cheap game forcing bid available in two diamonds. Whereas if I were to rebid, say, two hearts, then partner has to kind of make an awkward rebid. They'll have to rebid three of a minor to game force, and the auction's just going to get like way too high way too quickly. But because I know partner's limited to 12 high card points, I think it's very unlikely that um, partner wants to game force with their hand. So for that reason, I think rebidding two hearts has a lot more merit. Um, partner's likely to pass the two heart bid, and I think that's perfectly fine for us. We could miss a game. I mean, if partner raises two hearts to three hearts, we'll know what to do. We're very happy with our hand, the way the auction has gone. Like, to some extent, we're almost good enough for a three heart jump. But, I mean, with only 12 high card points, I can't really bring myself to do that. So I think I like the two heart bid. Normally, I would just rebid two clubs with this type of hand. Um, for the reason I already mentioned, that if partner wanted to game force, they could bid two diamonds, then we bid two hearts, and like, we're off to the races, we've showed our hand, um, you know, we have a ton of bidding room in front of us, uh, but just because of the format here, I think I'm happy to rebid two hearts. Great. <laughs> now I am sad. <laughs> Now I am very sad. Partner wanted to game force. I wonder if this is because partner has some like 5-5 five, five, or 6-5 hand type that just like that just really doesn't fit with what we have going on. So the natural bid, I guess, is 3 no. If I was playing with a human partner, I would probably bid three spades, actually. Because a human partner and I would have the agreement that a heart, a spade, two spades shows three card support. Um, just generally. I, I mean, like, I could make that bid with three card support. So the three spade bid would often be a doubleton, and I mean, I don't know, I, I guess I would prefer to have queen doubleton of spades to do this, but I think it would be okay here with the singleton and partner suit and a bunch of aces. I could rebid three hearts, Actually, I'm, I'm kind of liking a three heart rebid now. I would very much like to play in four hearts opposite um, a singleton. I think, at, at least often enough. And I don't really want to be the one to bid no trump. I kind of want partner to bid no trump. If partner has like queen double ton of clubs or something, then I would rather they bid it. Three hearts also gives partner the opportunity to show a longer spade suit with three spades. So I think for a variety of reasons, I'm willing to try this. Partner does bid three spades. And yeah, 
I, I don't see any reason not to bid uh, four spades here. With my spade support, singleton diamond, I mean, I was happy to do this from earlier in the auction already, so I think we've probably reached the right fit. Partner should have a singleton or maybe void in hearts. Okay. Well, we've got some exciting decisions ahead of us. Obviously, this auction would have gone a lot smoother if I had rebid two clubs rather than rebid two hearts, but we managed to land on our feet, find the right trump fit, and we get a club lead. Well, a couple of options. Against human opponents, I absolutely play low at trick one. It, it really would just be a 50-50 whether or not East had the club ace. I, I think East almost certainly would lead a club against this auction like 90 times out of 100. And I mean, maybe the other 10 times East would find a, uh, find a trump lead. Um, which also makes some sense. But the club being the unbid suit, I think, is a pretty clear opening lead choice. Against the robots, I think it's very unlikely the King of Clubs is on side. Now, with that said, we don't have a great way to deal with our club loser if we hop up with the ace. We can pitch it on the ace-king of hearts, but then we end up having to rough... Well, we have three diamonds, and we only have three small diamonds in North's hand and only two trumps in the dummy. So a line of play like ace of clubs, diamond to the ace, diamond rough, ace king of hearts pitching a club, club rough, diamond rough is okay. But there are a couple of issues with this plan, one of which is that now that South is out of trumps, we have to play the ace queen 10 six stops at nothing out of our own hand. Um, we'll still probably make the contract. I mean, it looks like we would end up losing a diamond and maybe two spades at most if the suit splits in a friendly manner. But, uh, but yeah, it's going to be hard to make, you know, 11 or even 12 tricks on that line of play. Um, I think what I'm going to do is I am going to play low, and then... West will probably win and switch to trumps. I'm going to have a decision to make on that trick, but if I make a intelligent decision on that trick, I can unblock the club queen. I can go ace of diamonds, diamond rough. I can cash two hearts pitching a diamond. I can cash the ace of clubs pitching a diamond. And, you know, we'll be in great shape. Also, there is the chance that East is leading away from the Club King, so I think for a lot of these reasons, I'm just happy to play low at trick one. Okay. <laughs> that is definitely a spade. Well... <clears throat> So if West had the king-jack doubleton of spades, they would have to switch to the jack here. I mean, they could switch to the king. Maybe they would switch to the king, actually. Hmm. Yeah, interesting thought. I mean, obviously, if West is looking at king-jack doubleton of spades, Playing the jack would be a very human thing to do. I don't know if it's a very robot thing to do. Because you kind of know, right, looking at this dummy, that what Declare wants to do is rough diamonds, and so taking a spade finesse would be a little bit risky in this position.
Hmm. If this is a true card, like Singleton Jack, I mean, then if I cover with the queen and East wins the king, East can't really efficiently return a trump. They would have to, they would give up a trump trick if they did so. They'd be leading away from their nine third. If this is Jack Doubleton though, and I play the queen and East plays the king and returns a spade, I mean, it's, it's not great. Um, It's not the end of the world, though, because we could potentially pick up the heart suit for a lot of tricks. And I mean, we could do that in a couple of different ways, either by taking a heart finesse or by just going ace, king of hearts, heart rough, and then using the ace of clubs to get back to dummy to cash a couple of hearts to pitch all of our diamond losers. So. I'm kind of tempted to play the spade queen because even if it does go king of spades spade back, I haven't completely lost the hand yet. I do have this backup potential of um, setting up the hearts. I, I might end up losing a lot of tricks in the process, but I think one of the concerns I have is, let's say we take what looks like you know, a sensible line of play, playing the ace of spades, right? Play the ace of spades, we unblock the queen of clubs. We go ace of diamonds, diamond rough. We cash a club pitching a diamond. We cash the ace king of hearts pitching a diamond. So we've gotten rid of all of our diamond losers. We have to get back to our hand somehow. And this might require guessing whether or not we can rough a heart safely or rough a club, the fourth round of clubs safely to the north hand. And it's possible there's no winning answer to this problem. So even though we are able to get rid of all of our diamonds, East might get a trump promotion in the end position somehow with like king nine third of spades or something like that. Try the queen. East does return a trump. That that is not a trump. East does return a club. So this is starting to sound as if um, East does have the nine third of spades remaining. So now I think we can be a little bit more flexible in how we play the hand. We can effectively do the same thing as if we had won the spade ace, but now, you know, I mean, I'm not going to be so worried if he still over roughs with the nine of spades later in the play. And I know the ace of clubs is cashing. I mean, East led a fourth best club. So just from the carding, it feels <laughs> okay. Yep. <laughs> was that with a natural trump trick? It was. All right. Good thing we cashed the ace of clubs before trying the ace king of hearts. That was uh, very clever of us, I suppose. Um, funny. On to board four. East opens a spade, we have a 14 count. <sighs> I've said in the past I hate overcalling five card suits, especially vulnerable. I mean, at the two level. This hand feels like we kind of need to. Um, We do have 14, so it's like, 
our hand is definitely above average in terms of high card points and one of the things that can go wrong if you overcall these five card suits at the two level is the player on your left has like a trump stack against you and with a hundred honors in the suit ace king queen jack fifth i think it's very unlikely that west is going to be able to penalize us um so i am going to stick in a two clip call with this hand the partner finds a raise but the opponents have spades i'm i'm done I'm happy that we've been able to force them up to the three level, but there's no reason to believe that our side can take 10 tricks in clubs. Maybe it's possible. I mean, if the opponents have 10 spades between them, partner has a singleton, partner has a diamond fit for us, and maybe a working heart card where the heart finesse is working through West, we have chances, but I think three clubs was going to get massacred if the opponents were able to double us in that contract. So I am happy that we're just pushing them up to the three level and we can defend three spades. King of clubs lead. Well, it's not a particularly good looking dummy. I'm wondering if there's any reason to switch to hearts here. Partner, unfortunately, is not very cooperative in giving us a count signal on this trick. So we don't know if a second club is caching. I'm just thinking, if partner happens to have, say, the ace of hearts and the ace of spades, which is unlikely, sure, but possible. We could get a heart rough. I suppose that gives East a hand something like Queen, Six the Spades, King, Queen, Jack of Hearts, King of Diamonds. I mean, that's like barely an opening bid. <clears throat> but possible. Uh, I guess I'm not gonna worry about it. Let's try and cash a second club. It did not work. And partner doesn't have the spade ace anyway, so kind of an irrelevant point. Wow, East only had five spades, worth noting. Diamond, <laughs> yes, okay. Normally I would be prepared for this trick um, if a player was leading a diamond now. So East has turned up with the ace, queen of spades, nothing in clubs. Um, if they have the king of diamonds, that brings them up to... Nine high card points. They could have like the ace of hearts as well. Hmm. If I was playing against a human opponent and I stuck in the Jack of Dimes, I think against a human opponent I would just be playing low. Um, but I think against a human, if I stuck in the Jack of Diamonds, they would always do the right thing. They would always duck, cash the king, and then finesse on the way back. Because the Jack would just be such a weird play from Jack third. I think against the robots, I'm actually going to put in the honor. I believe they they would correctly work out that mathematically, it's more likely for the diamonds to be three three than for me to have queen jack fourth. 
Um, so, okay, they, they do go up with the ace anyway, so I guess it just didn't matter. Oh, East had king nine fourth. I wonder if I had played low, if the robot would have stuck in the 10, or if they would play the ace and then low back to the nine. So maybe you can say that I blew a diamond trick. I have made a mistake on defense. Oh, I didn't make a mistake. Partner had the ace king of hearts. I was getting a heart rough. <laughs> Although apparently it didn't matter. Uh, the heart rough would have come at the cost of us tapping Declare out. Interesting hand. All right, moving on to board five. One heart by east. We have a big hand here. We have 19... A solid six card spade suit. King Queen third of hearts is a little bit of a sketchy value because West could easily have a singleton. They might get a rough. One huge problem with robot bidding is that they don't understand like uh, connected bid. I, I don't know how to describe this, but like bids that take multiple turns to activate. So like here, normally what we would do is make a takeout double and then maybe cubid depending on what what goes on and then bid spades and effectively show like either a game force with spades or a hand that was too good to overcall one spade. But the robots when we make the takeout double will place us with you know some clubs or whatever, partners probably gonna bid clubs. We can bid spades and partners now gonna have like these competing things that they're trying to deal with, and I've never seen the robots process this well. Like, they'll either, either still think that we have clubs and continue bidding clubs, or they'll just pass us at the two level when we're called for a slam. So, while the proper thing to do would be to start with a takeout double, I, I just, I think I've got to do it because my hand's so strong. I just don't know how I'm going to follow it up. So, we're gonna have to think further down the road about what our bidding plan is. So we'll start with double. West bids two hearts. East has made a game try showing a bunch of values. <clears throat> and apparently, according to the alert, East has unspecified shortness. I have a guess as to where that short shortness is. Probably spades. But it could be diamonds. It would be funny if it was clubs. I could be getting into trouble if I bid three spades. I mean, off the top, I only have seven tricks in my hand. So if the opponents double us, we could be going down a ton. But if partner just has the diamond queen, I think we're in excellent shape to potentially make our game. So I'm pretty sure I have to bid. Okay. Four hearts by West, so West is excited. Our partner has some spade support, and East elects to bid five hearts. Well, <clears throat> I wish I could trust my partner to do the right thing. Ah, good. Double shows 24 or more high card points. That it's, it's really helpful to see these uh, explanations. I'm worried we have a heart loser. 
If we have a heart loser, I'm concerned about holding our diamond losers to one. Maybe I shouldn't be. I mean, if partner has the 10 of spades, we might be in decent shape. I expect to get a heart lead. the ace of diamonds as their one card in hand, then I, I might even want to be in the slam. I'm, I'm tempted by the five spade bid. I mean, this four spade bid from a partner feels a little... It feels like it should have some stuff with it, right? Either partner's going to have a big spade fit, in which case I might be able to use, say, the ten and eight of spades to get over to partner's hand multiple times to take diamond finesses. Or, partner has some stuff in the minor suits, and yeah, it's true, partner might have a hand like King, Queen of Clubs and think that those are useful values, which unfortunately they aren't. But if partner just has three small spades and the Diamond Queen, I, I think we have a decent chance to make five spades. I could obviously double five hearts, I mean, I. I'm pretty certain they're going down in this contract. I have two natural trump tricks, but it's not really going to make up for the possibility of us making our game. I'm going to do it. I expected to get doubled, so, you know, this isn't surprising. Okay. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. All right, all right. <clears throat> yep. That is that is quite the four spade bit over there, partner. Now this has play, which is awesome. I'm really excited that this contract does play. So East has diamond shortness. What do we think East Sam looks like? I mean, East two spades is a pretty big bid. West four hearts might only be based on like four card trump support, so I don't think that like this is that unusual. I mean, West has already turned up with four spades, which I don't know. The robots seem to like having length in your suit and bidding more with it, which doesn't make a ton of sense. But this two spade bid tends to show like a lot of values. So if East had like Ace, Jack, Fifth of Hearts, Doubleton, Spade, Singleton, Queen of Diamonds, that's like seven high card points. I mean, like, I suppose East could have all of the Ace, King, Queen, Jack of Clubs, but that seems very unlikely. I think I'm going to play East for the Singleton, Ace of Diamonds. Which means, you know, I'll lead a low diamond out of hand.
Almost. I was I was like super excited for a second when Wes played low. <laughs> Alright. We do unfortunately have two diamond losers. And the Ace of Hearts. So we're down one. And the opponents, on the other hand, lose two spades and two hearts off the top, unfortunately. Well, a little sad. Anyway, moving on. One club by East. I will overfall a diamond. A heart by a partner. I mean, one no trump, well, okay, apparently one no trump shows 13 or more high card points, which is absolutely ludicrous. I mean, like, this should be a forcing bid in any system what, whatsoever that you play. I know I've seen the robots pass these kinds of bids before, but it's kind of ludicrous to play this as non-forcing. In fact, I think a lot of people play that these one of a major bids in, these, in exactly this auction shows a four card suit. Uh, because otherwise it's going to be difficult to find a 4-4 major suit fit. But, I mean, I have 12. I mean, I'm not passing a heart, right? Like, what's my alternative? Two clubs shows heart support. One spade shows spades. I, I guess I would... Two diamonds show six. So, so they, they literally don't have a bid for this kind of hand, systemically. They're, we're just supposed to pass, which is completely insane. Playing a 5-1 heart fit, that's ludicrous. So all but a no-trump partner raises to three now. I mean, that's not great. Partner says 12 or more. We know they're limited to 12. I do have a good diamond suit, so, oh. <laughs> we forgot to tell our, our partner about the diamond support over there, huh? Fair enough. <laughs> Club lead. Well, I have five diamonds. I have the ace of clubs and the ace of spades. The nine of clubs might be a stopper with that singleton ten in the dummy. I mean, I suspect we're going down at least one. My objective is going to be to go down only one. We only have 23 highs between our hands, and East opened a club and then never bid again. So I think West has some values, which to me sounds like East is 4-4 in the majors. Okay, we can start putting together a picture of what East hand looks like. West could have been with could have bid one heart or one spade over a diamond if they had some values. And given that we have 23, and East probably has like 12, right? East is limited to 12 um, because of the best hand constraint. We know West has like seven high card points or so on the hand. Did I do the math right? Oh, East, West has like five high card points on the hand. So West with a four card major could have bid it here. Maybe they don't want to with a five count. But that sounds to me like West probably doesn't have either four card major, which given North's hand now means West has at most three spades, so East has four of them. West has at most three hearts, so East has four of them. And East opened a club. So East is either gonna be four, four, one, four, maybe 4405 or 4423 in shape. Let's see what gets played at trick one, the king of clubs. Uh-huh.
I guess I'll play low trick one. I don't think there's any switch from east that's going to hurt us. Like, if he switches to spades, hopefully the queen of spades will hold. If he switches to hearts, obviously that's good. Um, and if he continues clubs, I plan on sticking in the seven. Hopefully west will win, like, an honor and then return the suit. I'll be able to collect two club tricks. <laughs> uh, okay. Yep. That is a that is a card that East just played, the Jack of Spades. Obviously West could have the King of Spades, but nothing we can really do about it. Okay. Good news. So we're up to eight tricks now. East has King Jack 10 fourth of spades. West apparently has the Queen of Clubs from trick one. East won the King. I think let's run the diamond suit. I don't see an end position where I can guarantee making the contract, but I'm hoping I can kind of eventually cash some black suits and throw east in and spades to lead a heart away from the ace at the end of the hand. The issue is going to be this Queen of Clubs in West Sand that if I ever go Ace of Clubs Club, West will get in and play back a heart. And if I duck a club right now, whoever wins, the opponents can play spades back, and that's going to get rid of the Ace of Spades and Dummy. So then East won't need to like hold on to... Um, a bunch of hearts in the end position, they can just come down to a single tenace of hearts and a bunch of winning black suit cards. <clears throat> like, okay, imagine I was able to reach an end position where I have a singleton heart in hand and a doubleton spade. Um... Oh, this isn't exactly going to go the way I want, is it? No, I think this makes sense. Um, <laughs> okay, I, I haven't exactly constructed the, the full position, but let's say I was able to reach some sort of four card end position where dummy has ace, doubleton of spades, king, doubleton of hearts. I have a heart, I have a doubleton spade, and I have the ace of clubs. Um, let's say. So what four cards can East keep? If they ever come down to a singleton ace of hearts, I can duck a heart setting up the king and dummy, and they're gonna have to give me um, the king of hearts in the end. So may maybe the ace of clubs stranded in my own hand isn't a great example, but something to this effect. If east ever comes down to a doubleton heart, then I can kind of cash all of my side tricks and throw East in in spades to lead a heart away from the ace uh, doubleton. So anyway, that, that's kind of the thing that we're trying to achieve. And like I said, there's no real way to 
guarantee that that position happens, but that's what I'm kind of headed toward. So I'm going to cash a couple of diamonds and see what happens. Okay. So it looks like yeast has started with 4414 four, four, four shape. If our assumptions are correct. East has pitched two hearts. West has thrown a club. West has thrown a second club, and East has also thrown a club. So East has come down to a doubleton heart. West is holding on to the 10 doubleton of spades. So East is down to Jack, Doubleton, and Clubs. King, Doubleton, and Spades. And Ace, Doubleton, of Hearts. West has a Singleton, Queen of Clubs. West has two Spades of some kind. And three Hearts of some kind. So if I just go ace of clubs, club, east is in, they'll have to return a spade. I win the ace, I exit a spade. We're golden if east started with all of the king, jack, ten of spades. Or if east doesn't unblock when they play spades back to us. If I play a spade to the ace right now, do I risk losing my club ace? That's question one. I think the answer is no, because I'm always going to get a heart trick eventually. So if I go spade to the ace spade, I actually think I like this plan because this is going to give me a chance if West actually has the 10 double 10 spades left. If East... Yeah, actually, I think I really like this plan. West can still beat me if... So, the opponents can still beat me if I go spade to the ace spade. If East unlocks the king spade, so this is something East would have to do in the other line as well when I cash the club ace. West will win the second spade, but then West can't play back a club. Because if they do, I can win the ace and then throw East in with the third round of clubs. So I think this gives me a lot of opportunities, and there doesn't seem to be any downside to this plan, assuming I'm right about the distribution of the cards. Okay, well, West had the Ten of Spades, so they, they did unblock it, and now a club comes back, we'll play the Ace, West drops the Queen, and we do get to exit a club to East, who's forced to lead away from their Ace of Hearts. So, this was going to be a difficult defense for the opponents to get right. East would have needed to unblock the King of Spades. Actually, this is kind of a worthwhile hand to, to pull up. 
take a look at because it was kind of cool. The end position, you know, auctions can give you a lot of information about the hand, so we were pretty comfortable in our guess that East started with this shape from the very beginning once we saw the auction. And then the King of Clubs at Trick One gave us a bit more information about the location of the missing club honors. So we ducked. The Jack of Spades came back. This is actually kind of a clever play by East to, you know, for, for a less astute declarer, maybe they will just assume the King of Spades is offside when this card comes back, but this is a fairly common thing to do. Uh, among expert players, even human players would find a play like this quite often. Um, so the Jack of Spades return, just trying to set up the spade suit, especially once you know that Declare doesn't have four spades for their one no-trump bid. They could have bid a spade with four here over a heart. You're pretty comfortable just trying to attack the suit to set it up for your side. So spade to the queen. We now ran five rounds of diamonds, and the opponents didn't really do anything all that wrong in terms of discarding. In, in fact, to some extent, they almost did the best they could. Now, West could have discarded a small heart here to preserve a little bit better communications, but that would be very scary if my card happened to be the Ace of Hearts um, instead of the Ace of Clubs. Maybe West should understand that I must have the club ace because of the auction, but still, it's not as if the six of clubs hurt anything yet. East ended up discarding the two of clubs, once again, not hurting anything yet. But now, you know, and we can, we can take a look, double dummy, that there really is no way for me to actually succeed from this position. I'm going to need some help from the defense. So something that I think a lot of players would do, even if they've got to this point, is just catch the ace of clubs and then play a spade to the ace. And, you know, again, we kind of talked about this, that if east doesn't unblock the king of spades, they get end played, right? If east plays the three spades here, we exit a spade. We already have eight tricks in and East is going to be able to cash the club jack, but then they'll have to lead a heart away from the ace. Um, but if we play a spade, I mean West should play the 10 and play the ace. I think it's very easy for a, de for a defender to see this end play coming, and therefore unblocking the spade king should be fairly second nature to a lot of players, and especially the robots. They tend to be decent at putting this sort of thing together. I mean, East already did a good job by leading the Jack of Spades earlier, preparing to unblock already. And now there's just nothing we can do. We're stuck in dummy. If we exit a heart, it's actually really bad. The heart would run around to West, who could then unblock the Queen of Clubs, cash the Nine of Spades, play a heart to their partner's hand, and then the jack of clubs will represent um, another trick. So we would end up down two in that scenario. Uh, we could exit a spade, which would be best defense. But West, in this point, kind of gets forced into doing the right thing. They'll unblock the club queen because they know that's a winner. And that, uh, or sorry, they, they, they don't even have to unblock the queen of clubs, but they probably would, right? They would lead the queen of clubs just figuring maybe I need to unblock that card. I'll win the ace. Oh, wait a second. Did I... Oh, so th this kind of transposes to what actually happened during the play, but I guess maybe, now that I'm looking at it, obviously queen of clubs is kind of crazy. West should probably understand that now it's correct to switch to hearts. So, they switch to hearts. I can cover the king with I, if I want. East will win the ace, but now East is kind of taken off of this end play. They can play anything back in their hand other than jack, jack of clubs. So, you know, imagine they return the eight of hearts. Partner wins the jack. Now it's fairly obvious to exit the queen of clubs, and East will collect the last trick with the jack of clubs. So what we decided to do instead of cashing the club ace, wait, did I? 
I'm getting my lines of play tangled. See, this is why I thought the Queen of Clubs was good. Okay, well, I think I stated everything correctly when I was talking about the hand. And now I'm doing a terrible job of describing it once we have the actual hand diagrams up. But this is why I played a spade to the ace, right? East not unblocking the king of spades already gave me the contract. So maybe East wasn't going to be up to the task, even if I had cashed the club ace earlier. This might indicate a bit of a flaw on East's part that they're just now getting unplayed. Um, but if, whoops, even if East did unblock the spade king, okay, th this is exactly what I was talking about, right? So I was planning to return a spade and now West is in this kind of difficult position where, again, it might seem natural to, to them to lead the club queen, but this is actually gonna allow me to make it. It not only gives me access to my stranded ace of clubs, but now I have a second avenue to end play East in the club suit. I could exit a club and East is on lead in the two card end position, having to lead a heart away from the ace. So Anyway, once East didn't unblock the King of Spades, it was just a simple matter of end playing East and Spades. And no matter the distribution of the hearts, as long as we were correct about the heart count, we were always going to be able to collect two more tricks from this position. So if East had gone Ace of Hearts Heart, given the power of the heart spots and dummy, we would be able to force a heart winner, requiring West to then give us access to the stranded club ace. Um, and of course, if East played back a, a club as they did during the play, then we just get the ace of clubs and can then throw East in with the second round. So very nice hand overall. Um, I think I played the hand fairly well, and I guess we got rewarded for <laughs> reaching a bit of a shaky three no trump contract, probably something that we shouldn't have got to in the first place. But um, nonetheless, a good score. So, on to board seven. A 12 count, we'll open a club. Partner makes an inverted raise, and East comes in with two diamonds. <laughs> now, God, I am just always so tempted to double them. Whenever these robots bid, I just, I just wanna double them every time. I guess for now I'm gonna pass. Partner's two club bid should promise a rebid. I have seen the robots pass out auctions like this before though, so I'm a little concerned this might end the auction. If it does, that's okay. We're collecting 100 a trick on defense and I don't think there is any guarantee two no Trump was making. Partner balances three clubs. I'm not prepared to try three no. Oh, they say 15 to 21 high card points. Well. I think I would have done something else if I had 15 to 17 to start with, but I also probably would have done something different over two diamonds than pass. Anyway, we are in three clubs. Partner just has a game forcing hand. Excellent. That's what we love to see. Partner has a 12 count that really should have game forced um, instead of bidding like this. We get a diamond lead. Given the overcall, the club ace is, or hard ace is likely to be on side, so that's good news. And two of diamonds, I mean, could be a singleton, but it looks like the diamond suit is actually splitting well. I think I'm gonna win the ace and play back a diamond. I do want to rough a third diamond in my hand if the suit is 3-5-3. Three, three. And if it's 7-1, I mean, I guess I will, um, you know, have to make a decision, but West has elected to tap us in the diamond suit. So East overcalled on Queen Jack 10 of diamonds. Okay. Sure. <laughs> I mean, Queen Jack 10 fifth, right? This isn't like Queen Jack 10 sixth or seventh where sometimes you can be a little 
late on high cards and make this kind of bid. I think for that reason I'm playing East for the Club Queen. The robots just count high card points, so it's not like they think the Queen of Clubs is a is a bad value. Um Because otherwise it seems kind of natural to go King of Clubs and run the 10. Due to the diamond length in East Sand. Yeah, all right. Let's try it. No! <laughs> no, man! There's no way to get back to dummy to pull the last trump. That's a little bit sad. So we guessed the club suit, but there is just nothing we could do about it. The third round of diamonds tapping us broke the communications. Really not much we can do regardless. If we had pulled trumps earlier, we would have lost a third diamond, or the third round of diamonds. So, all right, we have 12, open diamond and fourth seat, partner bits a heart, we're gonna pass. Pass specifically shows exactly three hearts in these scenarios. You should never open and say third or fourth seat and be like, partner's a passed hand, I have four hearts in a minimum. I'm just gonna pass. I know that's built into the robot system that you should do that, but don't. It is not winning bridge. You make it very easy for the opponents to balance in. And the fact that you have a large fit means that the opponents are going to balance in most of the time. So you're gonna have to bid to the two level anyway. And being able to distinguish between three card support and four card support is useful, right? Like if your pass here could show three or four with a minimum hand, your partner's not gonna be clued in as to how high they should compete, right? If they have a five card heart suit, should they bid to the three level? Should they sell out to three diamonds or something like that? They don't know. Whereas if your pass shows specifically three and you'll always raise with four, then, um, your partner actually gets involved with the auction. And partners like being involved in auctions. So here we are. We're in one heart. We get the king of clubs lead. Looks like I want to be ducking the first trick. There's no real harmful switch that East can make. And we should be able to set up the diamond suit to deal with our club loser later. God help me if East finds a trump switch for a club throw. Like West has the ace of hearts and that's their only card and <laughs> a heart goes to the ace and then a club comes back. That would be kind of insane. I would have to report them for cheating if they did that. But now East makes a much more sensible switch of like a spade. Um, so now we do have time to set up our, our diamond discard for the club loser. <clears throat> partner has 11 I mean it's 4 jacks and an 11 count but I do prefer opening all 11s just in general so it would be my preference to open North Sand with a club uh, we have 12 so that's 23 it's very possible that East has the Ace of Diamond. I mean, I'm going to lead a Diamond to the King, I think. No, we should lead the Jack of Diamonds. Okay, East does have the Ace of Diamonds. Now a club comes back, which is kind of friendly. I mean, East uh, realizing that we're setting up the Diamond suit to discard our club loser is willing to... I hope that they get lucky. Although it, it, it was too late at this point. If their partner had jack third of clubs, they, we've already set up our diamond pitch. 
So East has turned up with the King, Queen of Clubs, the Ace of Diamonds. They can't have the Ace of Hearts. They would have opened the bidding in third seat. So playing on the heart suit, which has to be our next priority, we should definitely be running the Jack of Hearts, hoping to catch East with the Queen. Okay. Things are going great for us. Club comes back. Now as long as the hearts split, we have the rest of the tricks. We have missed our game. <laughs> no surprise when partner passes an 11 count and we have an opening bid that game has some potential. Um, I'm trying to decide if If there's any way to make the rest of the tricks when hearts are 5 1. So West has turned up with three clubs already. If West has five hearts, three clubs, two diamonds, and three spades, we can make the rest of the tricks if hearts are 5 1 if I cash a high heart in the north hand first. If I play a heart to the nine, we go down. Well, I say go down. I mean, like, we're going to lose a trick if I play a heart to the nine and these shows out on this trick. I think that layout's effectively impossible. Uh, maybe I should be careful about what I say there. Because East would have a five-card diamond suit. I, I was thinking that might be impossible because East could have bid over a heart with a singleton. But with a five-card suit in, you know, my suit, diamonds, maybe East wouldn't actually have a bid. You know, three small spades, singleton, queen of hearts, ace, fifth of diamonds, and... Um, What is it? King, queen, fourth of clubs? So what's the risk? If I play the ten of hearts and both opponents follow, and then I play a heart to nine and someone shows out, I have to get back to the north hand, I can play a spade to the jack, as long as spades are not 5-1, we're in good shape. And I think spades are the spades just can't be five one. If East had a singleton spade, they would have let it to try and get a rough. Also, that would give East two singletons. Wait, 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 not two singletons, but um, you know what I mean. Uh, East <laughs> East would have let a singleton spade to try and get a rough. If West if East had five spades, they might have overcalled. With they've already turned up with eleven high card points, they might have opened. So I think it's safe to play the Ten of Hearts. I mean, I also think it's very unlikely to matter, Heart to the Nine, but at least we were thinking about it. Okay. Heart to the Nine. Everyone follows, so we can now claim our Ten Tricks. Board Nine. So we're a third of the way done. Pass, pass to us. Um, we have a really good hand. I've mentioned before, I I would absolutely open this hand heart, playing with any normal human partner. In a two over one context, two clubs is just such a bad opening bid, especially with two suited hands. Like, even if we're playing some sort of kokish, maybe we can... Maybe I would be happier to open two clubs playing Kokish. But I think with the robots and a hand that is effectively a three loser hand, we already have game in our own hand. We should probably just start with the two club opener. The partner's gonna bid two diamonds, we can bid two hearts. Partner's gonna do something, we can bid three diamonds and 
hopefully we get to a good contract after doing that. So we'll bid two hearts. Partner bids three diamonds to show diamonds. That's interesting. So right from the start, five diamonds looks like it's pretty cold. Partner's gonna have at most one or two hearts for this three diamond bid. Otherwise they would have supported our heart suit. I mean, maybe cold is a stretch, but um, right, if partner has two hearts and four small diamonds, we can pull two rounds of trumps, go ace, king of hearts, heart rough. And as long as, you know, either trumps are two, two, or the person with the short trumps has the short hearts, or maybe hearts are three, three, we'll be able to get back to our hand, rough out the heart, we lose a club and a spade. So we have 11 tricks opposite four diamonds and, and nothing on the outside. Now I think partner really should have a five card diamond suit to bid this way um, a lot of the time, but maybe, you know, maybe these two club auctions are just too difficult. Uh, so, I am thinking about slam prospects. The problem is that, for one thing, I don't think partner's gonna be very cooperative. If they don't have the spade ace, we know that the robots don't like cubiting second round controls, so they're never gonna cubit the king of clubs. So if I make a bid like four diamonds, which I think is the bid I would want to make. Partner's just gonna bid five diamonds like 95% of the time and we're not gonna get a whole lot of information. We're just gonna be left guessing. I wonder if... No, there's, there's nothing I can do to show diamond support and make a slam try. Now, a secondary issue that I have with this hand is even if we have a diamond fit, partner might have a doubleton heart, such as like queen doubleton or jack doubleton. And while five diamonds will make 11 tricks, four hearts will make 10 tricks. And at match points, that's kind of a big deal. Playing in the five two heart fit could easily produce um, a better result. Losing, say, a heart, a spade, and a club. So, it would be nice if there was a way to do everything, and unfortunately these two club auctions just get a little bit too cramped. One of the reasons why I don't like them. I think I'm gonna make the four diamond bit. I, okay, I think what I'm gonna do is effectively I'm just going to say, let's play in six diamonds on this hand. So I'm gonna bid four diamonds, which I think is the right bid. If partner makes what I expect to be the five diamond bid that I think they're gonna come up with, I'm just gonna try six diamonds. Hopefully partner has something. I wonder, is it ever gonna be right for me to try key card? there's any reason to bid keycard. If I bid four diamonds and partner has the spade ace, they'll queue four spades. And then I can bid four no trump, so we don't really lose the ability to bid blackwood. If I bid four diamonds and partner doesn't queue four spades, they don't have the spade ace. And so I, I effectively get to bid blackwood without ever use, going through four no trump. And probably more importantly, I don't tell the opponents what's going on in the hand. Partner's hand's gonna be concealed during the play. Now sure, they can probably make the same inference that I do um, once they see the dummy, that partner doesn't have the ace of spades, but we may as well force them to make that deduction on their own rather than just feeding it to them with the four no trump bid.
What? <laughs> uh, uh, <laughs> Alright, I mean, I'm prepared to bid seven diamonds at this point, but it can't hurt to respond to key cards, so I'm going to do that first. We have four key cards. Oh no, it can hurt. Please don't pass. <laughs> that was that was a close one. That was a close one. Now, man, that's a confusing bid. How can partner possibly bid four now? Assume captaincy and then sign off after I show four. Like, we could be off the spade ace. I mean, so what's partner's hand look like, right? There's so much distrust going through my mind right now, right? Like, okay, listen, if a human partner concocted this auction, first off, I, I would probably not play with them ever again, but if they did, I would pass. I, I would just trust them. I would be like, okay, they have some hand. I don't know what it is. They were looking for me to have five key cards and then Slam would make. Partner didn't even ask for the Diamond Queen. Partner didn't care about the Diamond Queen. They have like six small. I, I just like if partner doesn't have the spade ace, we can still make the grand because partner might must have like king queen fifth of clubs then or something like that. We can pitch our spade loser. It just has to be worthwhile to try this. You know, if West is on lead with the spade ace and finds the ace of spades lead, hats off to them. Or sorry, if East is on lead with the spade ace. Okay. Yeah, I mean, this is just a ridiculous auction <laughs> that partner concocted. Why would you ever bid key card with this hand? You have no source of tricks. You have no idea that, like, what happens if I show five key cards? What if we have a heart loser? I could have the ace of spades here and not the king of hearts, and then we're just, I don't know. <laughs> Spade to the queen. Incredible. Okay, down one. West didn't bid over two clubs. Ace, king, queen, fifth. On to board 10. One spade by our friendly right-hand opponent. I will overcall two diamonds. Wow. What is happening here? Well, I'm gonna bid three now. I have hearts, or spades double stopped, and I do have a source of tricks and diamonds. Partner bids four hearts. I mean, I'm, I'm happy to play four hearts. I just wanna think for a second about, because partner's also limited to 12 high card points. There's, I mean, whatever. I, I, it's not like I have anywhere to go, so I'm gonna pass. That, well, that's a hand. Okay. <laughs> uh... Yeah, honestly, not sure how I feel about the four heart bid. I mean, I understand that North is very distributional, but the queen double ton of diamonds makes me think that three no trump is going to have great chances. Obviously, some of that is due to the fact that I don't think this is a decent way to play a two diamond overcall vulnerable. Five or more diamonds, ten or more high card points. Like, it's just insanity to make that kind of bid with 
<clears throat> with just like a flat 53310 10 count um, that the robots do. So our partner was probably picturing hands where we just have like a five card diamond suit and then they're like, well, Queen Doubleton isn't great support. But quite often, right, we don't have heart support, so we can't have really just a flat hand anymore. We should have at least a six card diamond suit here. Spades should be fairly well stopped, um, or at least stopped well enough that with Queen Doubleton of Diamonds, we'll be able to cash a bunch of tricks. King Queen Jack, six of hearts is probably pulling North's hand more towards a four heart bid though. Right, because if we had only, say, one spade stopper, maybe we can take the spade and run six diamond tricks and cash the club ace, but the hearts are completely useless in a no trump contract. All right, so what's my plan here? Jack of Spades lead marks West with the Queen of Spades. Neither East nor West bid again in this auction, which is a little surprising considering they have 10 spades between them and they bid only to the two level. I think that means it's likely the hearts are going to split. So I believe what I should do is just win the ace of spades, pitch a club, play a heart to the king. Okay. So East will win, probably switches to clubs. So they do switch to the king of clubs. Uh, we can try and pull trumps if we are able to do so. Hearts do split. Really? Leave them. So, what does East Hand look like? They have the Jack of Spades, the King Queen of Clubs, the Ace of Hearts. I mean, that's a 10 count. The Jack of Clubs would give them 11. Then again, I probably would have let a club at trick one if that was my hand, but the robots do funny things. Like, West has turned up with no high cards so far other than the Spade Queen and bid two spades. I, I think I'm, I'm tempted to believe them that the King of Diamonds is offside. So I can win the ace, I can pitch a diamond on the King of Spades, rough a diamond, and then set up my clubs, just forcing out the Queen and Jack. East could be ducking the King of Diamonds here. It's, it's definitely possible. But all right, I'm gonna believe him. No. Wow, East didn't have the King Queen of Clubs. <laughs> okay. And number eleven. We'll open a heart. Two diamonds by West. Two hearts by partner, three spades by east. What is happening on those auctions? So apparently west has a good hand and east has a good hand, and 
Our partner can bid, and I supposedly have a good hand. Ah, good. 18 to 21 high card points for this four heart bid. Right, because that makes sense. I don't know who's making what, I'm just gonna bid the thing. He spins four spades, I'm... I mean, I should just pass, right? East just has a long spade suit. East doesn't actually have values. I know they suggest that they have values, but what's actually going on here is East is like trying to preempt. <laughs> I mean, it looks like East is trying to preempt, right? They jumped to three spades. So, and I don't have any defense. I kind of figured that this might happen. Partner doubles just, and partner's double is based on the fact that we've showed a lot of values for our four heart bid. It has nothing to do with like thinking four spades is going down. Now, with that said, it's very possible partner could have a true double over there. Partner might have diamonds well locked up. Our diamond void makes a the same as if that's very plausible. We do have a spade trick. I'm actually tempted to lead a club. I think I'm gonna pass. Um, it's very disrespectful to not pass this double, which is the only reason I'm considering it. But I, I think I am going to pass because there, it does kind of look like there's a decent chance that partner has diamonds well covered over here. And I do happen to have a spade trick. So my thinking on a club lead is that I'm going to have a second chance if I want to try and underlead the ace king of hearts to partner's queen and get a diamond rough later. Like if I lead the king of hearts and east has a singleton heart, that chance just immediately vanishes. But if I lead a club, east might get in take a spade finesse, we win, then we have the option of leading a low heart to partner's queen, try to get a diamond rough. So I think I'm gonna try that. Fascinating. Long tank from our partner. <laughs> really? Oh, <laughs> that's why long tank for our partner. The tournament didn't like that, whatever I did. Oh, look at that. Oh my god, we're doing it. Oh, we're so doing it. We haven't beaten the contract yet, but okay, hold on, hold on. Wow, really, really tough hand to play from here. Um, I think I'm gonna lead back the queen of clubs. It's gonna look really silly when partner roughs this trick, but I think if partner's roughing this trick, we're already in great shape. We're gonna get another diamond rough, I'll give partner another club rough. We get another diamond rough, then I can try and cash a heart. Uh, but 
And that ace of diamonds play from East makes it sound to me like East is desperate to get to their hand to try and pull trumps, which makes a ton of sense, right? And if hearts really are five, four, three, one around the table, if I play back a low club, East might be able to run this around to their jack, giving them an immediate hand entry. Then they can go ace of spade, spade, and start pulling trumps. Um, we might still be able to get a club rough from partner. We might still be able to cash a heart, but that's going to be less effective than if I lead the queen of clubs. Declare will be forced to win the ace and dummy. And then if they try and get back to their hand with the jack of clubs, partner can rough. Give me a diamond rough. So I, I think I like this plan for the defense. No, Declare was able to get back to their hand. So now they do get to go. <laughs> I was going to say they get to go ace of spades, spade. Um. <laughs> uh huh, uh huh. Eight of spades. <laughs> okay. Let me think for just a second. It sounds like our partner has the spade ace. I think he's probably would have cashed the ace, May maybe just to see if our singleton king dropped or whatever. So if I want to get another diamond rough, I need to win the king of spades here and play a heart to partner's queen to get another diamond through. I I'm very tempted to do that. I think regardless, I should win the king of spades. It's, it would be a little sad if partner actually has really good spades, like ace-jack-10, for example. Then I could just duck this, partner wins the 10, gives me a diamond rough. I rough with the king, but that's okay because partner's ace-jack will still take tricks. I just don't think it's very likely, given what we expect East's hand to look like. Like, I, I... Man, eight of spades, huh? The simple defense, of course, is just to duck this trick. Partner will win whatever they win. They'll play a diamond, we rough, and then we cash the ace, we play the ace of hearts and see if it cashes. It's a little scary to go king, take the line of play that I'm thinking of, king of spades and then a low heart, because east might have the singleton queen. I think East actually does have a heart. I, I believe if East had a heart void, they would have roughed a heart to get back to hand rather than that third round of clubs. Okay. Ten of spades, not great news. What?
Did it not matter? <laughs> Hold on. Did it not matter? I am... Uncertain. Anyway, I'm gonna move on. We got plus 100. Way to go, us. A diamond by our partner, three clubs by east. Colors are kind of wrong to go after three clubs for penalty. If the opponents were vulnerable, it would be a lot more tempting. I, I mean, maybe I should double and look for a heart fit. If partner has a singleton club over there, which I think is fairly likely, or club void, um, we'll probably do better in a trump suit. It's a little bit concerning that they say the negative double promises four cards in both majors because that's really just not true. Like, what are you supposed to do with the sand? Like, let's say I had the same hand with four small clubs. Am I just supposed to pass three clubs? <laughs> that seems obnoxious. Yeah, this is like very concerning now because if I double and partner has four spades, are they ever going to let me play three no trump later? Maybe I'm j I should just bid three now. Three now is like the imp bid. Maybe not actually. There there's some real chances that we can make a slam on this hand. Maybe three now is just a terrible bid regardless. All right, I've decided let's bid double. Partner bids spades. Oh good, three no now shows four to five spades. Yep, this uh, is exactly what I was afraid of. <laughs> it might not be too bad to play in a four three spade pit. I mean, obviously I would much rather play in three no trump. Now that we know partner is missing hearts. But I guess this is okay. Interesting. So can clubs lead? East does not continue a club tapping north sand. I wasn't even sure if I was gonna rough if East continued a club. I mean I guess I probably would. But it's a little surprising to do that, especially looking at this dummy. So... I mean, maybe that means that spades are splitting well. Spades could easily be 3-3. Three, three. I'm gonna take a diamond finesse. I'm gonna knock out the ace of hearts. I just want to be a little bit careful about how I do all of these things. <laughs> that is starting to sound like spades might be 5-1. Well, that's not going to be great news for our side. All right, first things first. Let's knock out these hearts. So West will win this. Probably play back a heart.
Let's try the diamond hook now. I mean, east could definitely be three, three, zero, seven. That's possible. In which case, I take the diamond hook and east roughs. Not good news. So if I go the spade to the king, spade to the queen, I take the diamond finesse and I mean obviously if spades are 3-3 three, three, that would be great, right? Spade to the king, spade to the queen, diamond hook. I don't think that's what's going on. The ten of spades ace jack trick really makes it sound like West has a lot of high spades. Like, would West really play the jack from jack empty third there? I don't think so. And would East lead the 10 from 10 third without the nine? So like if West had jack nine eight, sure, it goes 10 ace jack, that makes sense. But I don't think East would switch to the 10 from that holding. So I think spades really are five one which means the best I can really do from here is just try and cross rough uh, as best I can. So cash a bunch of winners, rough some diamonds and dummy, rough hearts in hand, maybe. Unfortunately, I have all of the small spade spots, two, three, four, five. So let's think, jack of hearts, heart rough. Ace of diamonds, diamond rough. Club, roughed and over roughed, diamond rough, club. West can rough in and then pull my trump. So it doesn't look like it helps me to play the jack of hearts and rough a heart. Yep, spades were five one. Brilliant. So they get another spade trick. Down one. Obviously three no would have been a cakewalk. <laughs> if only there was a way to get there and to look for a heart fit. Halfway through, partner opens a diamond. We have a big hand. We have 19. So we'll start with two clubs. We find a club fit which is good news. How many clubs does partner think they're promising? Four. Oh, that's really good news. Interesting. I don't have the ability to do anything intelligent with my hand. I could make the field bid, which might be for no trump. I would love to know if partner has a good diamond suit. Like if partner has a diamond suit that's like King Jack fifth, then we can deal with a lot of my major suit losers. But if partner just has a balanced hand, then I would expect them to make a bid like three no trump, whatever I do next, and then um, we're probably content to just look for like six clubs or six no trump. I'm gonna fiddle around a bit, I mean, Let's try three hearts. It's of course forcing. Partner does bid three now. So this, to me, probably indicates something like a balanced dish type hand. I also really thought it was important to get partner to bid the no trump. Maybe this is a much more valuable point 
that partners spade holding can be protected if they've been the no trump and we don't really need anything protected in our hand from the opening lead. So I assume they think Forno is quantitative. Oh, Forno is still key card in clubs. Okay. Let's think about possible hands partner can hold with just say like 12 high card points. Where, where Grand Slam is making. Um, otherwise, I kind of feel like maybe just jumping to 6 no has some merits, force them to guess about the opening lead. They're probably not leading hearts after this auction. They might lead spades into partner's tennis, which would be helpful. Or maybe they'll just passively lead a club and we can safely set up the diamond suit. So give partner king jack fourth of diamonds four small clubs that is nine tricks ten with the ace of hearts so we need to produce three more tricks somehow out of like eight high card points I mean ace king jack of spades I guess would do it but It's not like we guarantee to have 13 tricks. So, hmm. I mean, East King double ten of spades would work, then we could make seven clubs. So partners like East King doubleton, three small, King Jack fourth, four small. That would be an 11 count. And seven clubs is cold. I have the feeling the field is just going to bid 6 no trump, probably fairly quickly, like they might even do it over three clubs. Which isn't to say that we can't win match points against the field if they do that, but it's probably going to be a little more difficult. It, it feels like one of these hands where six no trump either makes or it doesn't. There's not going to be much to the decision part of the play. All right, let, let's go. Let's go fishing. If I bid four no and partner shows me one key card and I bid five no, but the problem is partner's just gonna bid six clubs, right? The way the robots work is they never bypass the trump suit to show you a king. Hmm, that's a problem. How bad is seven clubs if partner doesn't really have the perfect hand, but at least they have the spade ace and diamond king? So let's say... No, we just... Our hand's just way too flat. I, I think it's... It's too difficult unless partner really does have ace, king of spades, king of diamonds. And even then, we're, we're going to need the jack of diamonds from partner or something else to justify a seven level bid. Okay, I'm sold. I'm sold, let's just play six now. At least we right-sided it, which could be good news. Well, I mean, it, it really does look like, uh, <laughs> look like we have 12 tricks. Almost no real chance at a squeeze, but maybe the opponents will make a mistake in discarding. 
so we'll run our, all of our suits and come down to a four card ending with king nine doubleton of diamonds and ace doubleton of spades with a good club to cash. We do get a diamond discard from West. There's no way West uh, makes a mistake and be discarding. So six no bid and made, probably a pretty flat board. East led a diamond instead of the king queen of spades. Insane. Also, did that graphic look weird? Is this because there was like a glitch out earlier? That, that graphic in the center, I don't know, that graphic in the center looked weird to me. Uh, 13 count, we'll open a heart. Partner game forces and east as a passed hand comes in with two diamonds, which, like, once again, I just want to double them. Can I double them? I could. It would be a little bit better if I had slightly better diamonds, but I mean, like, this this auction is just so ridiculous. Like, just preempt your hand when you have an opening preempt. Okay, I'll pass. G what? <laughs> now both opponents want to bid? What is two spades? They say five plus spades, but you can't have five spades. You didn't bid over a heart. <laughs> and the partner's like, I'm not dealing with any of this. Jumps to four hearts. Can we go back and double one of the one or both of the opponents in their contracts? All right, here we are. So diamond lead, yeah. Well, a couple of options. We could try and rough a diamond in the dummy. I suppose if we were going that route, we would also rough a spade in the dummy. Alternatively, we could try and take a lot of tricks by like taking a club finesse. If the king of clubs is on side, which I mean, it just what is going on this auction? I think East has the king of clubs. I, I think East is very likely to have the club king. Given that apparently they have nothing else in their hand, so yeah, I believe. I want to duck a diamond, win a diamond, rough a diamond, and then do the same thing in the spades, ace king of spades, spade rough. Go like ace of clubs, low club off dummy, try and pull trumps that way. I mean, it's not great. We don't have good ways of re-entering our hand to pull trumps. So maybe an alternative that we could go for is Duck the diamond lead, win the diamond return, duck a club. That way, if he says king double ton of clubs, the clubs are already set up to run. We can just safely pull trumps. And if not, 
They can definitely tap us once in diamonds, but then we can go king of hearts, ace, queen of hearts, club to the ace, club rough, use the ace of spades to get back. So I don't need to rough anything in dummy, I just need clubs to split 3-2. I actually like that line of play. If he wins the diamond and switches to hearts, we might fall back on the plan of roughing a couple of diamonds and dummy. I'm not certain about that, but at least it would like effectively give us a free finesse in the heart suit. Diamonds are 6-2. I mean, this is just ludicrous that East couldn't find a two-diamond preempt with King, Queen, Jack, 10, sixth of diamonds. That's insane to me. Why did East do this? I mean, East could have Jack, fourth of hearts. That would be a reason not to. I mean, East could also have a four-card spade suit. Maybe that's more likely. I think I like this plan. Trying to set up the club suit. I see. Oh, the king of clubs is on side. I mean, man. Luckily, hearts weren't splitting. All right, on to board 15. So I guess we'll open a diamond. We have a 13 count. Two club overcall, still want to double them. Three clubs by our partner. Limit raise and diamonds. I mean, I don't have a very good hand, so we'll just bid three diamonds. Apparently three diamonds shows four or more. What am I supposed to do without four diamonds? There's nothing I can do to deny four card diamond support. Great. That's that's what we like to hear. Did one diamond show four or more? No. So somewhere between opening one diamond and our next turn to bid, someone passed us an extra diamond under the table. Cool. Okay, club's lead. We have, how did we miss a spade fit? Was one of us supposed to bid spades, like maybe our partner? with uh, four cards. Oh, I forgot, negative doubles promise 4-4 four, four in both majors. Right, yeah, just no way to find our spade fit after opening the bidding. I'm sorry I opened. Okay, two rounds of clubs and a heart switch. I guess I'm gonna take the diamond finesse. I mean, it's it's likely West is short in diamonds, but not taking the diamond finesse is playing East for exactly uh, Queen Doubleton, and I think that's fairly unlikely. Okay. I mean, that definitely makes sense. I think the Queen of Spades is offside. Just not really much we can do about that. Really not much we can do about that. Wow, it was... Yeah, West was had seven clubs. That's tough. 
I mean, we would feel like we got a zero in a normal match point field, but in this robot event, obviously everyone's going to be there. Pass, pass, pass to us. We have 17. We'll open a no trump. All pass. We get a heart lead. Hmm. Doesn't look like a particularly difficult hand to play. We'll just use the King of Diamonds to get to Dummy and take a club finesse. We might have some decisions to make later in the play, but for now, I think it seems pretty straightforward. Okay, club finesse is on. So we need to decide where we're going to look for extra tricks. I mean, Hearts is almost an obvious potential source. West could have led from Jack-10, 9-4th. East has Ace-Doubleton. West also could have led from Jack-Doubleton, and East has Ace-10, 9-4th. So it's, it's not like we can guarantee that Hearts will help us out. We could go after Spades. Use a couple of club entries to dummy to lead a spade to the 10, and then a spade to the 9, just taking the percentage play in the spade suit. I'm tempted to go after hearts, actually. I think there's a real chance that we can take two more heart tricks. Like, if West started with jack-10, 9, fourth, and I lead a heart, West might be worried that I'm going to stick in the 8, and so they'll split their honors, I can duck, and then East will win the ace, and then I have a heart finesse available. Okay, it, it didn't exactly work out the way I was hoping. But I'm of the belief that we can at least set up the heart suit eventually. Oh, we got a spade lead. <laughs> That's fine. It would have been nice if the opponents returned a diamond for us. Then we could uh, just run the club suit. I mean, pitch a spade loser from dummy, run the club suit, and everything would be good. I'm not brave enough to stick in the king, so I will play the 10. And we do have the rest. Now they switch to diamonds. 150. On to the next board. We have 15. We'll open a no trump again. Accept partner's transfer. Fascinating. East doubles. I don't even understand this bid. What is this bid supposed to show? This is just like... I am upset and thrashing my arms about. Um, well, the opponents are in massive trouble as far as I can tell, but it's possible partner just has a zero count. Like, with East not being able to open the bidding, this should not, this hand kind of doesn't exist. We have seen the robots not open legitimate opening hands in the past, though. I guess I'll pass for now. Let's see what happens. Three diamonds, pass, pass. Like, I could bid three spades. The problem that I envision with a three spade bid is that I don't think I'm ever making it. So we're kind of wagering that the opponents are making their three diamond contract. Maybe they are. Again, I think part of the onus on this kind of ridiculous auction lies on partner. We've made one of these box bids by opening a no trump, so our hand is pretty well set. It's true that we could have like ace, queen, jack, fourth of diamonds here, and then we would be very interested in doubling three diamonds for penalty, but for the most part, our partner should really just double this bid as a, the opponents have done something stupid, I have values, therefore I just want to let you know that this is our hand. Um, so I don't know if you would call that a card showing double or a let's make sure to score 100% of the match points when these opponents sit at the table double.
but one of those things would happen. And that just doesn't happen with our robot partner. Our robot partner is sitting over here like, oh, I have an eight count with like, or you know, seven or eight count with a bunch of small cards um, with like a small doubleton diamond. I don't want to make a penalty double. I mean, I guess I can pass. What do I think the field's gonna do at this point? I think the field is just gonna be in three spades because they have a spade fit. And maybe they'll work out. I mean, you know, maybe our partner has a fairly weak hand with a singleton diamond and could even have a six for in spade suit. So three spades could be uh, the right place to play. But I think we're unlikely to take nine tricks with such a flat hand and all these queens. So pass might have an opportunity to win the board while still not conceding a full top to the opponents if three diamonds happens to make. love our prospects on defense, but that's kind of where partner's hand comes in. They probably have values in clubs, some of the time at least. All right, I'm going to pass. I don't know if that makes any sense. Wow, East just has like, first off a hand that they should open. Of course, they have an 11 count, 4 by 1. But then also they could have just made a takeout double of two hearts, or a takeout double of spades by overcalling two spades here over two hearts. So passing and then doubling, I think. I don't know, this sequence doesn't make any sense to me, but I guess it does to the robots. 10 of hearts lead. Sure. So it does look like we beat this contract because I do get the can of clubs here. Um, <clears throat> but Declare will be able to take the rest. So we could have doubled and collected, you know, and, and again, it's kind of unpartner, right? It's not as if partner really is interested in penalizing three diamonds, but the look of the auction is just, you know, when East tables this dummy and they still go down, you really just have to be doubling here, protecting your side's plus score. How do we do in spades? Uh, I forgot, I'm not analyzing. Moving on, East passes. We have a 20 count. We'll open 2 no. Partner bids stamen. I will bid hearts. Partner bids no trump showing spades, so I will comply and show my spade support. We get a club lead. Okay. Very tempting to... No, I was going to say something dumb. I was going to say very tempting to win the Queen of Clubs and take a heart finesse to pitch diamond losers, but obviously I can't cash four rounds of hearts. Some opponent is going to rough. So let's, uh, let's try and pull trumps first. Okay. Now... We do have some options. The Jagged Clubs could be from Jack-10. It could be from Jack-Doubleton. I'm 
tempted to believe it's from Jack 10, given that East didn't return a club here. Like if it was from Jack Doubleton, East might think that it's Singleton Jack and try and give their partner club rough. We see a club discard from West. So yeah, if I go club to the king and a club back to the nine and pitch a diamond, if I go club to the king and West shows out, I can still play a club to the queen and lead the jack of hearts. And even if this hook loses in the cash of diamond, I get tapped once, but I can pitch my losing club on the third round of hearts. So that looks like the right line of play to me. Wow, look at that. So it was East, not West, who was um, looking to get a club rough. All right, this is perfect. Now we can kind of safely lead the jack of hearts and with the king on the side, we make the rest of the tricks. Sad that the King of Hearts was on side there. Board 19. We have a 4 2, two five, 14 count. Good five card suit. I'm absolutely going to upgrade this into a no trump. There's kind of a lot of debate about these types of hands. There are some expert players who stand by the fact that with four card spade suits, they're always going to open a minor and rebid spades. I just prefer to kind of convey the general strength of my hand immediately and save all of these, um, you know, two suited hands for when they're more shapely. All right, partner transfers to hearts. East makes a takeout double, which means we're no longer on the hook for bidding two hearts. Two hearts would promise three card support. So we'll pass. This is not a possible bid, but I like it. Partner's diamonds are now protected from the opening lead. Also, we've kind of gotten back to par at this point. If we had opened a club, partner would bid a heart. East would overcall two diamonds like a crazy person. We would pass, our partner would jump to three hearts. Which apparently is forcing in our system. Fascinating. Well, I don't see any reason to bid something other than four hearts. I was gonna say partner did well to protect their diamonds from the opening lead, but they don't <laughs> they don't have diamonds that need protecting. It makes a lot more sense to redouble here, retransfer into the no trump opener, especially when you don't have anything worth protecting in your hand. Um because they might, right? Like, there's no guarantee that East has to have all of the high diamonds. Our partner might have, the no trump opener might have King Doubleton, and East actually has Queen Jack 10 9 6. So. Anyway, King of Diamonds opening lead. We do continue with the Ace of Diamonds. And switch to clubs. Cool. <clears throat> well, I'll tell you one thing. If I was playing teams, I know what my line of play would be. I would win the queen of clubs, I would rough the diamond with the king of hearts, and I would play a heart to the jack, and I would just claim my ten tricks. There's no way the opponents are getting a rough in that line, and I'm only losing the queen of hearts from here. At match points, I think I'm going to run the Jack of Hearts. This club switch feels like a singleton to me. 
I mean, there's no guarantee that it is, but I think there's a couple things at play. It's possible East with, you know, good diamonds, probably the Queen of Diamonds over here, might be worried about us roughing a diamond in the dummy and could have switched to trumps if they didn't have a trump card that they wanted to protect. Although it's still kind of weird that East didn't continue a diamond at trick three. Well, I think a lot of the inferences, so if this is a singleton club, then East is more likely to have heart length, I, I suspect. I don't know. I mean, it feels like a bit of a coin flip to me. Eight for Jack Queen. Now it's starting to sound like this club is not a singleton. Why would West play the Jack from Jack 10, 9, 4? I mean, maybe maybe it doesn't matter, right? Maybe West is just saying none of my club spots matter at all. East doesn't cover the jack of hearts. I, I think I'm gonna take the hook though. Okay. Oh, there's a club pitch. Perfect. We did make our contract. 10-8 double to the club switches to the eight. Well done. Club by north. A heart by east. We have a 14 count with a heart stopper. Tempted to start with two hearts because we have, I mean, we have club support. There are definitely heart holdings partner can have where playing no trump from their side is going to be helpful, such as uh, ace doubleton, where a heart lead coming through the ace doubleton to ace, say, queen jack six or queen jack fifth will mean we only have two heart stoppers, whereas east leading a heart means we have three heart stoppers. There's also no trump holdings where playing it from our side makes sense. Uh, if the spade suit's a problem, like imagine partner has ace third of spades over there, then we want the queen doubleton being led into. Or even if partner has king third of spades, we still want a lead coming into our queen doubleton. So I could see a jump to three now. I prefer to go slow on auctions, just generally, because it gives us more room and we don't really know what partner's hand looks like, right? Like, it's not as if partner has to be 11 to 14 balanced for their one club opener, even given this constraint that we have the most high card points at the table with our 14. Partner can still be like 6-5 in the minors, they, and, and so, Jumping to 3 no puts a lot of pressure on them that they don't know if 3 no trump is the right spot or if they should bid to 5 clubs. So I'll start with 2 hearts. 3 hearts by West, pass, pass. Um, double would be takeout, which is 
doesn't make a ton of sense to me. Like, we can't have a spade fit, and I, I think double would just tend to show a hand like this to some extent, probably without a heart stopper. I'm going to bid 3 now because I do have a heart stopper, and partner can do whatever it is they want over this. That's a little bit of a confusing hand. Once I showed a limit raise in clubs, maybe our partner should have been a little more excited about their prospects of a potential club slam or even a club game. We're in great shape to make three now. Heart to the ace, heart comes back. I guess it can't hurt to duck this trick, get a little bit more information, so West led from the Queen of Hearts. The third round of Hearts. All right, now we can just run six rounds of clubs. If East happens to have the Spade Ace and the Queen of Diamonds, they'll be squeezed. And if the Queen of Diamonds happens to be offside, then of course, you know, we might go down in our contract, but <laughs> I guess we'll see what happens as we play out the rest of these tricks. So West pitches a fourth heart, which means he started with a five card suit. East has pitched a couple of diamonds. Um, I mean, it just looks like it doesn't matter. It looks like East is down to the stiff ace of spades and three. No. Yeah, what is East down to? East only has two hearts remaining. Two hearts, the ace of spades, and I guess a diamond? But it's starting to sound like West has the diamond queen, so. Okay, we made three no. Not much to say about that one. Four boards to go. Partner preamps two spades and first seat. Vulnerable. We have a pretty bad hand, but one thing I know about the robot's tendencies is, I think we've seen this on a couple of previous boards, they hate preempting when they have length in the other major, or length in a major suit. So I think there's a good chance our partner has a doubleton heart, maybe even a singleton. Makes our hand a little bit better. Regardless, I'm... I don't think there's any reason to push further than the two level. Like, let's say partner has ace, king, jack, ten, sixth of spades, and a doubleton heart, which would be a pretty good hand. Even if we bring the spades home for no losers, the opponents might be able to take two hearts, switch to diamonds. I mean, we would, we would have to get fairly unlucky if the spades came home to go down in our game. But it would still be possible. I mean, we can only count six spade tricks, two clubs, and the diamond ace off the top. So if literally every card was offside, the king, jack of diamonds, and the club queen, we would be in trouble from there. But there's no guarantee the spades come home for two losers, and partner could, of course, have a much weaker trump suit, like king, queen, six. We could easily have two spade losers and two heart losers. And I don't think looking for three no trump makes a ton of sense. Yeah, partner might have ace, king, six, the spades, and we could duck around, run the suit. But again, I think it's likely the opponents have eight hearts between them, can either set up or run that suit against us. We don't really have an outside source of tricks either. So I'm just going to pass two spades. Okay. 
partner has almost exactly what we expected. I mean, the King of Diamonds is kind of a welcome surprise. So four spades, if the opponents were able to cash two hearts off the top, which maybe they could and or should have, four spades would come down to guessing the trump suit and the suit splitting 3-2. Um, with the opponents not being able to cash two hearts off the top, we're much better positioned here. Now this three diamonds lead could of course be a singleton, in which case the line of play I'm about to take is going to look very silly. Um, but I'm just going to pitch two hearts on the diamonds, or that's at least the plan. So I could stick in the 10 if I want, or I could play low and go diamond to the king, ace, queen of diamonds, maybe west drops the jack of heart or jack of diamonds here. I'm tempted to play the 10. Sure, let's try it. Okay. This is good news because now that east has the jack of diamonds, we know that um, the diamond suit is 4-3. So we can safely do this, and this, and this. Now what? <laughs> um, so I could play a diamond pitching another heart. West is going to be forced to rough on this. West is going to be forced to rough, right? Yeah. East didn't make the uh, necessary false card to the jack. Or did East play the jack earlier? Man, I was not watching <laughs> this. It's, it's getting a little bit late. Um, so... It's possible they rough in with a natural trump trick. I think I like that plan. And then I think I am gonna take a club finesse on the way back to dummy eventually. So like if I play a diamond and West roughs, I pitch a heart, and then West is gonna play back a heart, I'm gonna rough. I'm gonna take a club hook on the way back I think East tendencies on opening lead would be to not lead away from honors if they could avoid it. So the fact that East led away from a diamond honor probably indicates that they also have a club honor and the only one missing is the queen. I mean, there is an alternative line of play. We could just take a spade finesse now. If a spade to the queen holds, we can cash the spade ace, take a club hook, assuming that wins, we can pitch a heart loser and we only lose one trick. We're gonna get the infamous plus 230 on this board. It's not that risky to do so, because if we take a spade hook and it loses, and then they play back a heart and tap us in hearts, we can just like cash the spade ace and then play a club to the king and a diamond pitching a club loser. We don't have to risk the club finesse. I, I don't think I like that plan though. I think the club finesse is very likely to succeed, so I'm kind of happy with this plan of Queen of Diamonds pitching a heart. We might still make 230 if West roughs in with a three card spade holding, including the king, so. Oh, East did dump the um, whatever it was. So 
So that Jack of Spades rough, was that from King Jack Doubleton? <laughs> See, the robots would do something silly like that, rough with the Jack of Spades from Jack Third. But that's kind of the only scenario in which hopping up with the Ace of Spades would be bad here. And I'm a little worried if I take the hook, then East might give their partner club rough. So I, I am going to go Ace of Spades, Spade. Okay. It didn't cost because... Um, West was going to get the King of Spades anyway. We don't have enough entries to hook East out of everything. So we can now just, uh... Oh, wait. Am I doing this wrong? Hold on, maybe I'm doing this wrong. West is sitting on the King, eight third of Spades remaining. Uh-huh. Not that it matters, if we had played the Queen of Spades, it also would have effectively come out to the same thing. So now we do need to get another dummy entry in the Club King. Seems unlikely, but yeah. Oh, we made a game. So we could have done a trick better if we had taken the spade hook earlier. All right, board 22. A little sad, people who get to game are just gonna make it. <laughs> one club by east, one spade by us. Negative double by west, our partner raises to two spades. We have a good hand, it's a 13 count. Partner couldn't make a limit raise. I'm tempted to just pass for now. The opponents are probably going to compete to, say, three clubs. We can then balance in with three spades later. They compete to three diamonds. That's unexpected. I still think we should compete to three spades, though. We have a six-card spade suit. Well, spades four diamonds. <laughs> How could this possibly be the auction? I mean, obviously West is something like one, four, six, two. And it sounds like East is maybe three, three. I don't know, three hearts would be weird, right? Like, if East had three hearts, wouldn't they have been three hearts over three diamonds? Thinking that their partner could be 5-5. Five, five. I mean, I think I was making three spades. Maybe not. The King Jack third of diamonds kind of looks like a, a bit of a mediocre set of values at this point. But I'm worried that I might need to double and protect my plus position. I, I have okay defense, right? If partner just has the queen of diamonds, which I think is very possible, right? Like West is bidding like a maniac who, who knows if they have a real hand. We should have four tricks. I mean, ace of spades, ace of hearts, king, jack of diamonds. I don't know. I'm, I'm going to try and protect my plus position. It feels like the right thing to do. So we get the king of hearts lead, or king of spades lead. That's... Probably pretty good news for us. I 
I mean, it looks very plausible that Partner actually has the Queen of Diamonds looking at this dummy. I, I, su I suppose maybe Partner's two spade bid is based on just the King Queen of Spades. Um, possible. Obviously, West might be able to make this. I mean, they might end up just losing the Ace of Hearts, Ace of Spades, and a Diamond trick. They, if they have Ace, Queen, Sixth of Diamonds, they can cross in Hearts or Clubs, take a Diamond finesse, and make the contract. I. I mean, I think I'm just gonna start tapping Declare. Oh no. If Declare is out of spades, this is really bad news. Okay, they're not out of spades. <laughs> it was that long tank, and then, then they didn't rough. A lot of thinking going on. A <laughs> lot, a lot of thinking going on here. <laughs> King of Hearts is an interesting play. I guess I'm gonna win the ace. I'm going to continue tapping Declare. I don't know if this is the right defense, but it feels like at least we're doing something somewhat sensible. We've beaten the contract, which is probably good news. Plus two hundred. I, I don't I don't know what was going on double dummy there, but I'm happy to go plus. All right, moving on to the next hand. Two boards to go. We have 14 count, 6 card spade suit, we'll open a spade. West preempts 3 hearts, our partner raises to 3 spades, which... This isn't like a limit raise in terms of value, it's just this could easily be somewhere in the range of I was planning to bid 2 spades and now I have to bid a 3 level, all the way up to like sort of a mixed raise, right? Like 7 to 9 high card points with 4 card support. I think oftentimes if you have the limit raise hand type, like four spades and an invitational hand, you just judge based on your heart length whether or not you want to be in game. So maybe partner could have like a doubleton heart or something with ten, a 10 count and four spades. Well, ace king sixth, I mean ace king jack sixth, but effectively ace king sixth looks like a much better holding now. Queen of Hearts is a pretty bad card, but the fact that I have three of them gives me some hope that partner could have heart shortness. And so I'm kind of tempted to try game. Maybe I shouldn't be. Right? Like, again, if partner really does have, like, queen third of spades and some eight count over there, am I really excited to be playing in four spades? Probably not, is the answer. Maybe I get a heart rough. Maybe partner has another trick on the outside, but that's just going to give me six spade tricks, one heart rough, the ace of diamonds, and one trick on the outside for nine total. We're a little bit far away from getting a tenth. Okay, 
I cave to the preempt. Queen third of hearts just looks like such a terrible card. No. I mean, we haven't made it yet, but I think we have a decent chance to score up this game. We do need to be a little careful about how we approach this, right? Eight of diamonds switch. Originally, my plan was going to be if, if the opponents had played a couple of clubs and then East had, say, switched to diamonds or trumps. I was probably going to cash one trump, rough a heart, and then take a spade hook. But now that I get this diamond switch... No, I should probably do this, take the same line. It's, it's starting to kind of sound as if West might have 7-4 in the round suits. So West could be 1-7-1-4 one, one, in shape. And that's consistent with what's going on so far. Is there any reason to not cash the spade ace? I don't think so. I think there's legitimate chances West has the singleton queen. Um, I'm going to quickly look at what their high card count is. They say 11 or fewer high card points. The robots don't always tell the truth about this number, but I think they tend to be fairly good about it. So I will cash a spade. Two of spades is missing. Both opponents are high lowing in the spade suit, so West might be playing the 8 from 8-2. Eight you know, one thing I hadn't really considered is if if West has three spades, then this whole plan of roughing a heart is really bad. I mean, also, if, if I misguess the spade suit, this whole plan is really bad, right? Like, I, of course, could just cash the king of spades. Not that unreasonable. Run the diamond suit as much as I can, pitching clubs. And eventually, East might score one trick. That would, of course, be my plan if I was in a four spade contract. Um, as long as East follows to the second round of diamonds, I do get to pitch at least one club loser before he can rough in. I think I'm going to go with my gut. Heart rough, spade to the jack. Be prepared to go down a million. Well, <laughs> I, I mean, kind of sadly, East covers with the Queen of Spades, typical robot thing. So we were right about West shape, 1714. Last board of the entire event. And then we'll see how we ended up. I will probably add a little shortcut at the very end where I show off the final standings and give some concluding thoughts. Um, but before the last board, I just wanted to say thanks everyone for tuning in for this whole event. I hope everyone had a good time checking out the content that I've made for this. I do plan on doing this for most of the robot NABCs in the future as well. There will be another one before the fall nationals, so probably around November time or maybe December of this year. And if you are going to be in Chicago, I haven't exactly made plans to go, but I was thinking about stopping by for at least a little bit. So 
If you do end up there, maybe you can come say hi. I would love to get to meet some of the fans out there. And all right, very last board. Board 24, three passes to us. We will open a spade with our 14 count. Now, I, you know, I, I hadn't <laughs> paused to consider a two spade opener. I don't like it with this hand. I think our hand's a little bit too good to open two spades in fourth seat. You want to save the two spade. I mean, it's not really a preempt in fourth seed. It's like a minimum opener with six spades. But it should be a hand that has no game interest, opposite a past partner. And we have a hand where I think if partner made a dreary bid, I would be very interested in uh, looking for game. I suppose you could argue that over uh, a two spade opener, partner with a limit raise and three card support should bid something but it does kind of jam the auction a little bit. So, okay. East balances with a no trump. And I think I really like double here. It could work out poorly. I mean, it could work out poorly for a couple of reasons. First reason is maybe they actually make it. The singleton club is a little bit scary to me when I go after the opponents in a no trump because the opponents could easily have like a nine card club fit. East might have three and West could have six of them, very possible. And so they might just end up running a bunch of tricks in that suit. Um, but even in the case where they do end up going down, maybe they're just down one. They're not vulnerable. We collect plus a hundred and we actually are just making two spades. I mean, I think we're quite likely to make two spades, given the way the auction has proceeded so far. But I still like double because I think there's a huge upside. If we score three or 500, we're gonna be in excellent shape on this board. I mean, we're just gonna get top marks on the hand. And even if we only score 100, it might still end up okay. Um, where people in two spades could actually have some difficulty, right? Like if East happens to have, say, ace, ten, nine, fourth of spades, maybe two spades does have issues, and we appear to have enough entries to our hand in the ace of diamonds and king of hearts, we can knock out the ace of spades, knock out the ten of spades, and still get back to our hand to run the spade suit. So the robots think I'm showing 18 to 19 for this bid. Um, oh, oh my god. I just noticed something else that, <laughs> that maybe puts me off from doing this. Partner didn't bid. <laughs> what, what am I doing? Okay, let's, let's rewind back up. I, I think I got distracted somehow. I don't know why I thought partner had responded to my opening bid. Partner didn't bid anything. I see, I see. It could still be right to go after them, but I think it's actually much less likely now. Now I am pretty confident that they have a big club fit and could run a bunch of tricks in that suit. I'm just going to bid two spades. <laughs> I'm sorry. How is this possibly the auction? Both opponents are past hands. We... <laughs> Oh my god. Okay, okay, hold on. Hold on. We gotta unpack this. The opponents have 22 highs and have bid to three now. I, I just, I can't let this stand. <laughs> wow, dummy hits with three small spades. This is gonna be a massacre. You know, I say that and yet... Oh, they play a diamond to the king. How, how, how nice of them to just put me in. I was like, man, if East actually has five clubs, maybe they can cross in clubs, take the heart hook, run the hardened club suits, and score like an over trick. No, no. Diamond to the king. We will comfortably just win the ace here, and uh, yep, let's take some of these tricks. And... 
I'm gonna say that it's probably good news that we didn't defend or double a no trump because it looks like that contract might have made. Never mind, that was also going down. <laughs> oh my god. What was this last board? Well, that was a fun one to end on. <laughs> that was a really fun one to end on. Partner had a four count over there. Look at partner getting involved with the three spade raise over two no trump. <laughs> Oh boy. All right, so how did we do on today's set? I think today's set went okay. Wow, seven diamonds down one was close to a zero. I mean, it was a zero, but we have some other decent results. So 64% overall, we did balance out that zero with uh, 100 on board 22. Four diamonds doubled, we beat it a trick. Um, one heart making four. You see, you don't have to be flashy to get pretty good results. 98. So again, sadly, we're kind of out of contention for first place, but we did put together at least two fairly solid performances across the three days. And again, if you're enjoying the content, make sure you subscribe to the YouTube channel. I am looking to hit a thousand followers as, or a thousand subscribers as quickly as possible. Um, I'm probably going to splice the video a little bit right about here and add in a little bit of concluding thoughts and some final results from the overall scorecard um, for the three-day total, and we'll congratulate the winners as well. So, see you in a little bit. Welcome back, everyone. So, this is our final results for day three, and we're going to take a quick look at the overalls and give some final concluding thoughts on the event. So our third session, we finished with 64 and change percent. That put us at about 104th for um, the field. These were the overalls. Uh, notably, we don't see the player that had been in the lead anywhere on the top of the leaderboard. They actually had a bit of a weak third set, but coming in with such a large uh, advantage of over three percentage points going into day three. They did end up winning ultimately. That would be every, some player from Poland. I don't exactly know who they are, but we'll see the final results in just a second. If you're curious about any of the percentages from this last round, here's our scorecard for today. So we had unfortunately one pretty awful result, seven diamonds going down one. I I feel a little bad having looked at the Traveler on this one, um, which I'll pull up in a second, you know, just to kind of remind everyone what the board was. We had opened two clubs and showed both of our suits. Partner took over by bidding key card and then signed off in six diamonds. And, you know, I, I think if I wasn't playing with a robot partner, I might have um, been a little bit more conservative in my decisions here, but with the robot partner, I just figured there was no chance they were bidding Blackwood with no key cards and no Diamond Queen, and effectively just nothing in their hand, but I guess I was wrong. Um, but this was the traveler for that set, so if we had elected to pass partner six Diamond bid, we would have gotten a 93% score. Many pairs got to five Diamonds on kind of a different auction, a couple of them ended up defending four spades doubled. Uh, the other direction, which um, also netted our side a bit of a decent result. Uh, but yes, we were the only one who was in seven diamonds, and that ended up being quite poor. But we do have a number of pretty good results overall. Um, scrolling down to kind of the very end of the scorecard here, we ended on a bit of a hilarious hand. Three no trump doubled. The opponents... Uh, <laughs> kind of went insane after both passing and then electing to try three no trump with no source of tricks, no fit, and you know, not even a great stopper in our suit. So that got us a good result. 
Um, but yeah, overall, decent session. You know, if we had put together three of these, once again, we would have been near the top of the scoreboard, but here are the final overall results. So we ended up with a 60 average, a little bit over 60. We finished in 147th place out of over 2,300 people who played. A couple players on our friends list actually did fairly well. 64% um, average, 63% average. Leo Lasota played a couple times with him on the stream, close to 63. But as mentioned, this player named Every from Poland did end up winning the event by almost a full percentage point. This is the second time in a row that a score of 69% and a little bit ended up winning, so that seems to be kind of the mark that you should be shooting for if you're playing in this kind of an event. Um, but the top of the leaderboard was a little bit closer this time around than it was in the spring, from what I remember. Last spring we had, I think, a 65 average and finished in seventh place. 65 in this event would have dropped us all the way down to about 20th or mid-20s in terms of placement. So quite a few more players have been able to score in the upper 60s. Um, ultimately, there there is one thing that I think was a little disappointing to me coming into day three, and I, I probably mentioned that at the start of this video. I don't recall. That was a while ago. Uh, for me in uh, actual lifetime, but it's the fact that coming into the third day, so many players just have no chance to win. It's very different than normal NABC events at the U.S. Nationals, where there's only a small carryover between sessions. Um, but I understand why they did it. You know, there, there's so many people who enter, and especially because I think for a lot of the players, they probably wouldn't pay the full, you know, however, many, however much it is. I think it's like a $40 entry fee to play in this event if they were one of the weaker players in the field and the field was getting cut by half every day. Um, so in terms of a money-making procedure, I understand the um, necessity to have people to allow people to play all three sessions. I think what might be a good way to solve this problem, and I, I don't know if this is the right forum to talk about this, but if you kind of segmented the event after day one and after day two, so there, there's some sort of like top tier field where, you know, there might be some small amount of carryover, but everyone comes into the third day with an equal chance, almost equal chance to win. Um, and the people who don't make it into the like finals, as you could say, are effectively those who have no chance to win anyway, if with the current system, they get put into some sort of like lower bracketed event. Um, maybe there's a cut after day one that, you know, plays in some sort of lower bracket thing. And similarly, after day two, um, they can either drop into the next lower bracket or maybe there's like three separate events that are happening on day three. So everyone would get to play all the boards. I can't imagine people would be that disappointed if they had no chance of winning anyway after the first day and they got dropped into a different um, field. They, they still get to play all 72 boards, they get their money's worth. So anyway, just something that I'm thinking about in terms of how to maybe make this national event a little bit more um, like some of the other NABC events out there. But yeah, ultimately, I mean, I'm happy with my performance. We had a bit of a sad second day of play, got a little bit unlucky, these things happen. But still being in, you know, the top 150 of the players, it there are some strong names in the field, of course. Um, so overall, I had a good time. I will be playing this again in the Fall Nationals. 
and once again I probably will turn up at Chicago it might be the final weekend when I get there um, so if you are around please stop by to say hello and if not I will see you all next time have a great day